Thank you very much, Mendel, for your explanations on citizen science and its impacts on knowledge management and community engagement. Now, our third speaker today is Mr. Y.C. Chen, Head of Spatial Data Office Development Bureau of the Hong Kong Government. Mr. Chen assumes his current role since late May 2021. His over 20 years of professional experience covers engineering surveying, hydrographic surveying, cadastral surveying, and geospatial data analysis and management. Over the past few years, Mr. Chen has been actively involved in the smart city and CSDI development. Let's welcome Mr. Y.C. Chen. His talk is entitled, Unlocking the Power of Spatial Data, Updates on Common Spatial Data Infrastructure and Explore in Infinity Opportunities. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for inviting me to share um, the topic. I'm not sure how much how many people you have involved or, or know the topic, the common spatial data infrastructure. Um, I do wish after this, especially for the researchers, I do wish that the CSDI really helps. I'm sure that every one of us have to face different questions every day. Uh, from the web search, it's around 30, over, over 30,000 questions or decisions we have to make every day, big ones or small ones. Um, actually, when we make decisions, we need information. Actually, information. But what information you need? And what's in, inside the, the, the information? There's one big component, that is the spatial. And Sean and every Mendel also, also, also think about it. We need spatial information. Actually, the spatial information has been there, and we just take it for granted. And in some research, it's told 80% of the information got the spatial dimension, but we just don't notice that. So that's why we wish to have a... But the, 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 information, the, the information about where is, where is the data? That's why we try to come up this, the, spatial, the common spatial data infrastructure. We do wish to have a place to gather all, or at least the framework of the spatial data. That's in, that's in, that, that, the CSDI initiative actually is under the Smart City Blueprint uh, from the 2017 and, as, and even in the 2.0, in the 2.0 the is still there, and it's evolving. The Common Spatial Data Infrastructure Pro Initiative is evolving, and this come, come with uh, some key elements. First one I will actually introduce is the CSDI portal, and together with it, we have the 3D digital map, which is now being um, developed in, by phase, by the lens department. And development bureau, together with works branch and the planning and lens branch, we try to promote the use of um, BIM, the building information modeling, together with the spatial data, um, the GIS. And to let more people know, especially the young ones, to know what the spatial data is and how you can make use of it, that's why we established, a, the development bureau established a geo lab the Geospatial Lab in Guntong since 2021 um, July. Oh, actually, yeah, the late July. So, it's just an open data, right? But uh, uh, more about, more than, more the CSDI, CSDI data is a little bit more than the ordinary open data. In our CSDI portal, which was launched large, uh, in 2022, uh, December, we launch around uh, in the portal around six six hundred data sets. Um, apart from the normal data sets, all data sets in the CSDI portal will come with five standards. That is the geo code, the geo is geotagged. All data are geotagged with with the coordinates, 
with, with the position of it. And we will have every data set we will have come, come with the documentation, the specification, as well, as well as the metadata. And we provide open and machine readable and GIS ready data sets. And all data sets will come, come with the API for the system developers to, to make use of. We do wish that the CSDI we would like, will be like a data supermarket. We are not going to do every application for you all, but we do wish to provide the, the quality ingredients and you know what's that and why the data, what, why do we have such data set from, from some departments? And they will provide it in the metadata. And from the supermarket, then you can make use of it to create your application. For instance, the apps, for instance, the study, your research, and not only from the supermarket, you probably will come with your own ingredients as well. So just a recap, the CSDI portal now, since the launch in December to the public, free of charge, we now have today, as of today, around 640 data sets, and we are growing. And each department will, will let you know in the, in the um, annual spatial data plans. And in the coming three years, we anticipate there will be over 900 data sets from the departments uh, across the works departments, uh, lands departments, as well as the census and other non-works departments, for instance, the um, leisure and cultural de departments or other, other, other departments, transport department, education department, all these putting all together in this supermarket. And this is the um, platform. It's just like a, a web search engine. But with that, not only the, uh, the data are categorized, we will have a preview as well. You can, you can preview the data on a map. Okay. And we do hope that with the CSDI, we can have single source of truth. We do wish you all, including our departments, can reduce the time and cost in data recovery. And with the data, we, can, we do wish that it can, it can boost the digital economy and enhance our data-driven decision-making. And of course, we do wish the young ones, especially the young ones, can, can, can think about some innovative use, ap application of the spatial data. So I, I think I need to run faster. And uh, may I show you some applications uh, just to spark off the, the, the imagination. Um, this is some uh, government use, how, how we use the um, spatial data. For instance, in our uh, lands department, um, provides an internal use, the um, geoinformation hub. We provide some dashboards for to the public, such as the um, service for elderly and such for child cares. And the one we just passed uh, in the past two, three years is the COVID-19 dashboard. And the slope maintenance responsibilities um, dashboard. For planning, KK is here. We will we'll have um, planning department, got some planning department's portal, which allowed you to, to, to read um, the outline zoning plans. And one of the very good examples of use is the, uni, uh, is the urban renewal authority. They make use of the spatial data within their organization to come up not only the data from CSDI, but the data they collected. For instance, they go out and, and receive and collect the data from on-site. Where are the targets um, in uh, 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 residents in their urban renewal units? And they will try to help based on the data they collected. And to let more people know what's 
spatial data can help. Um, spatial data office also try to make some proof of concepts. One of the proof of concept is the making use of the spatial data. Uh, for instance, the 3D pedestrian network, the 2D maps, the outdoor data, as well as the navigation tools. For instance, the uh, finger, Wi-Fi fingerprints and, and the GNS as the global navigation satellite systems. And together with the collaboration with among different departments, as well as uh, MTRC and the shopping malls, we try to prove this concept by an um, application for the for the um, visually impaired persons, so that they can travel seamlessly from indoor to outdoor and with information. They can know uh, during, the, during the corridor they are, they are walking, they know oh, what's around, and they can go detour to the toilets or, or other bakery or as far as they, they want to go. And another example is um, we match the data givers, uh, the digital caregivers uh, portal, which is uh, uh, to match the volunteers and the ones who, read, who, who, need, who need services. Actually, before that, the social workers told us they need to went, went through thousands of lines in the Excel table but now they can match it on the, by making use of map interface so that they know how to optimize the resources because they know the service providers as well as the, salt, the, the, the service um, required uh, are, are packed together so that they can optimize the resources. One volunteer can go to two or three um, residents. And um, the the uh, in ISD, the Information uh, Services Department, they um, helped um, our deputy um, chief executive, uh, chief secretary, to offer a one-stop public hygiene cities dashboard. Before that, that you only have a uh, seven hundred black spots on a PDF, but with that, we now have a dashboard showing the locations of, the, of where the black spots are and with the photos um, before the treatment and after the treatment so that people can know um, the progress and how um, the, 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 the street cleanliness have been, have been cleared. And we allow the report as well. Oh, if, if it's positive again, so you can report it and so that the, authority can um, follow up. And this one is an um, example of an experiment we did with um, um, the district office of uh, Sam Choi Po to pull a uh, serve load data, data layers available in the CSDI and put it together. For instance, uh, where are the, uh, are the buildings with the lift? Where are the buildings with uh, um, some building ages? and uh, elderly facilities and, and other, then you probably can, can get some insight from the map. And the building age. And this one is a very interesting case. We try to collect the data with the district office um, during the, the year, last year we collected the number of anti-pandemic kits delivered to each household. And we geotagged that so that we know each building, how many packs we, we delivered for each building. At the end, we probably can have a proxy how many households in that building. That, if that we compare that uh, number against the number of units then we probably can know the potential, um, um, the potential distribution of the subdivided units. With that, if we get the four unit, then we probably can know how dense they are living. That's, with such information, the district office 
because they have limited, uh, limited resources from uh, university, they deliver the uh, 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 purifier to the people in need. And how should they prioritize the, how, to, how should they prioritize the resource? They make use of the data and put it, put, uh, deliver it to, um, to the people in need, most in need. Okay, after several um, examples, uh, I do wish to share with you the uh, geospatial lab. And through the lab, we do arrange uh, over two to 300 activities, and we are anticipated to, to run um, 300, at least 300 activities in the coming three years to meet the um, um, youth blueprint. And we provide some webinars, seminars, workshops for students, startups, teachers, community service centers, etc. And we collaborate with um, Science Park um, professional institutions. And we do also um, arrange some competitions as well. And earlier this year, we have a very, um, quite an interesting day, this uh, experience day. We invited uh, uh, pra um, some, some from the industry to share the spatial industry and and share the job opportunities to the young ones, and uh, share some fun with um, uh, the use of technology uh, by means of uh, demonstrations and, and, and illustrations as well, and workshops for the parents and, and, and child as well. And uh, we, we are, we are arranging uh, uh, some collaborations with uh, universities as well, and uh, some, and we are arranging, a, um, organizing a, 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 a supporting, supporting a competition with uh, Shanghai and Hong Kong. Um, to let more people know, we also run some uh, roving exhibitions. Uh, in Festival Walk, uh, Olympian City, um, City Gallery, and we are, all going, uh, we, are, we are hoping to arrange more in the coming months um, in some, some areas in the, in the new territories. P perhaps uh, uh, the Science Park may be our target. And we share some flight simulation and the car, car games, which actually are making use of the data from CSDI for the games. And we recently just um, ended the deadline for the entries uh, for our CSDI awards this year. And uh, this year's, um, the response is very positive. We got around 100 submissions. And uh, we are now um, going through the, um, the selection process and we look forward to have the final presentation in July. Okay, 3D digital map. 3D digital map is, um, of course, it's 3D, and we have three components, 3D visualization map, 3D indoor map for the publicly accessible areas, which we, we selected 1,200 something um, buildings, and uh, the 3D pedestrian network as well. The pedestrian network actually has been available in the CSDI portal. And uh, for the 3D visualization map, we got the first batch uh, in the Kowloon East area, and it's now available in the CSDI portal as well. So just um, a few seconds to, to taste. What's it? This is now actually available in the CSDI portal for you to download. Um, the buildings are actually the, in, in, in object-based or tile-based in open and machine-readable formats. We think um, with that, you probably can have more uh, applications.
for some particular iconic buildings, we will have uh, more detailed um, dimensions and, and uh, facade. Okay. And for the 3D pedestrian network, one of the examples of use is, oh, if we got a community facility in the center, we do wish to know, before that, we only know we plot a 300 meter circle and then see how many buildings are falling within the 300 meter circle. But now we got the 3D pedestrian network. We can know how many, 10 minutes walk, within 10 minutes walk, how many buildings are falling within our region. Within 15 minutes walk, how many buildings are, will be our, serve, our, our catchment. So, with CSDI, I do wish to have a pill, uh, every one of you, to think about first, to digitalize your data, to make your data available at least in digital form first, and spatialize it. That means geotag them as far as possible. And make your data ready for sharing. I'm not talking about you must share your data to the public, but at least make it available for sharing with at least your teams, your organization, or if it's outside your organization, it's also possible, then you may think about to share your data with others. And government is trying to release um, the data as far as possible, but we are just only one possible source. We, are not, we should not be the only source. And I think what I do wish one day, the CSDI portal can embrace more than just the, the data from the government departments. Actually, actually today, the CSDI portal also got some data from such as uh, bus companies, from um, malls, the, the parking availability from the malls through the departments. But I do wish that one day we got more data from the academia, from the professional institutions, as well as from the public for which the data is got um, public interest. So I do wish that uh, we are now having the framework spatial data and we are having some core common shareable data with your, co your contributions, with the contribution from different departments, we do wish that there would be more and more common shareable data. And all of them are linked with the framework spatial data to ease the sharing. So let's map our city smarts and uh, smart city our map. Thank you. <laughs>